So my name is Samuel Lewindy. I'm a board certified urologist at Advanced Urology Institute. If you have an acute stone episode where you come in with a lot of pain, nausea, vomiting, fevers, the first step is to place a ureteral stent. The stent will decompress the kidney, open it up, relieve the uh, pressure, relieve any kind of infection that may be there, and take away the pain most importantly. Once that's in, then we can ha we have time to figure out what the next best option is in regards to treatment. So and when, when talking about kidney stones, based on the size of the stone, the location of the stone, uh, you can do anywhere from shock wave lithotripsy, where you break up the stone with sound waves, very minimally invasive, very well tolerated. Uh, next option is something called ureteroscopy, where we go in through the urethra from below all the way up to the location of the stone and break it up with a laser. And then we can pull those pieces out so it's a little bit more definitive in that we see the stone and remove it with an actual basket. However, it's a little more invasive, so there's a little bit more recovery time. Lastly, there is the larger stones that can sit inside the kidney that would be required to remove through the back. And that's usually done in an overnight hospital stay. Uh, still relatively minimally invasive, um, but we go in through the back to the kidney, either break up the stone in small pieces and pull them out, or we can just grab the whole thing out and pull it out there. For, uh, for PCNL, recovery is usually an overnight stay at the hospital. Uh, there is a uh, tube in the back that stays in place overnight, but then you go home with nothing. You go home with no tube in the back, no catheter from below. Pain is relatively mild, uh, but well controlled with pain medication. Mm -hmm.